How to remove cracked and brittle caulk from your camper ki counter kitchen or from your bathroom. You're going to need to use a very sharp razor blade to run along between the wall and the counter. You need to really, really sharp to cut that. Um, it'll extend all the way to the wall. And unfortunately, your caulk goes in between your counter and your wall. And the only way to get that out is to just simply cut, cut it out, apart. So run that razor. scraper to kind of press behind and pull it away from the wall. You might have to wiggle it a little bit. You're also going to want to use that scraper to scrape off any residue. Often you're going to need to go back in with your razor blade to get whatever didn't come out and clean that, that um, edge up a little bit. Now it can come out fairly simply. A real pain in the neck and you'll see when I do the bathroom that it was much more brittle and much more difficult to come out than here in the kitchen one. I'm cleaning up that surface. I'll eventually use Gooby Gone um, after I've done as much as I can with the stiff spatula. I'll use Gooby Gone to clean up any remaining adhesive. And that's what it will look like at the very end. Before I've, I've cleaned everything up, you can see a little bit of a, a space between the counter and the wall, and I'll use um, caulk, just your traditional caulk, to um, fill that all in with a nice seam. And then the bathroom counter, the same process happens, except that this is so this one was so badly um, brittle and stuck that I actually had to use a razor blade between the counter and the caulk just to loosen it up at all. Um, and so I, once I started loosening that up, it came, started to come a lot faster. I pull up. Again, you're going to keep wiggling it away from the wall. Put the scraper behind the clock and between the clock and the wall and wiggle it. It'll help it get moving for you. And then you're just going to keep going at it with that razor blade until you finally get some more of it. And it takes some time and energy. Uh, it is frustrating and tedious, but it does work and you will get it off. And then you're going to need to replace that with your white cloth trim. And right now I'm just breaking that up, breaking up the cloth so I can get a grip. And it, and it also just reduces how much I have to cut through with my razor blade. The less of that cloth I have to cut through, uh, the better it is for my razor blade. Because they do go, they, they'll go dull fairly quickly with this project. I think I had to go through maybe three different razor blades. Um, and so what I did here is I cut a bit of the caulk so that I wasn't trying to work with the part that was going under around the counter top uh, because of that corner is a little trickier. And so once I did that, I started to get some um, momentum. And once you get a little bit going, it goes a little bit faster because now it's not you know, using itself to stick to. You can kind of pull it a little faster. And unfortunately, you just have to go bit by bit, bit by bit, 